Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Inscription Silenced, Episode 4. Now when we last left off, we had just picked Grimora as the scribe we wanted to replace. This is our starting deck. We have uh, seven of the skeletons. After the skeleton per er, attack, after attacking the skeleton perishes, uh, we have three Draugr. When Draugr perishes, a creature the creature inside is released, which are skeletons. Uh, at the end of the owner's turn, Grave Digger will generate one bone. We have five Grave Diggers. We have three zombies, which are just a two bone uh, one one. And we have two Frankensteins, and they are a 2-2 two -two for five bones. So it's going to be an interesting, uh, interesting play. Three. All right, so <clears throat> immediately we are confronted with this world, which is filled up with different thematic islands. We've got Leshy's area, Grimora's area, Magnificus's area, and PO3's area. So let's start things off, I guess, by going to visit Grimora so we can get more uh, bone-related cards, All right? You're here! Marvelous! I am Grimora, scribe of the dead. Until quite recently, I was disgraced. I thought it, it, I was returned to my former glory with the help... Though I was returned to my former glory with the help of some unlikely friends. If you wish to test your skills against me, you must first prove your wits. You must discern which tomb marks the final resting places of my lovely ghouls. You found a piece of an epitaph. It reads, Eaten by a Hungry Dog. You found a piece of an epitaph. It reads, Does Not Hold a Grudge. You sift through the bones and found a card pack inside. You received a Deathly card pack. Ooh, so, uh, one sec here. Alright, just gotta... Do a quick adjustment here. I'm a little bit cramped here, so there we go. <clears throat> Bonehound. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, Bonehound will move to that sp empty space. Dead hand. When dead hand is placed, discard or play, discard your hand, then draw a new hand of four cards. Ghost ship. Waterborne. Also, at the end of its owner's, excuse me, turn, ghost ship will move in the direction inscribed on the. Sigil, excuse me, and drop a skeleton in its old space. Stim Mage. Activate. Pay three energy to increase the power and health of Stim Mage by one. Insectodrone. Insectodrone will strike an opponent directly even if there is a creature opposing it. Cards were added to your collection. Alright. Let's check out over here first. I'm curious about something. I was wondering if maybe you could, like, interact with any of this stuff, but it doesn't look like it anyway. Hmm. I guess not. Alright, what do you got? You wish to trade? Uh, we don't have any foils, but we could buy a few different things here when we do get the foils, so that's interesting. Alright. grudge. Eaten by a hungry dog. Why not? And that's all we got. Hello. Ah, I can just use space. Good to know. Oh no. Oh no. Do not look upon me. Do not snarl or sniff. I beg you. If you wish to battle, please let us get it over with. Oh, something's wrong. It's, it's your deck, or rather your lack of a valid one. You've got 20 cards in it, right? And this is what teaches us we gotta use... Uh, we've gotta make uh, our deck now. So, we're gonna put, like, six skeletons in there. Well, maybe a five skeletons. And, actually, four skeletons, two Draugr, three Grave Diggers, um, one Frankenstein. I guess I can only do one Bonehound. 
Anything else I have? Um, and the ghost ship. That's 12. Uh, I guess we'll do another Frankenstein and two zombies. Because that's probably as much as I can. Oh, or not. Alright, I guess I'll throw in some more skeletons then. Um, and Draugr. And grave diggers. There. That's that's the full amount. Alright. Um, let's make sure it's saved it. Um, yeah, it saved it. I wish you could, like, make more than one deck. Do you know what I mean? Like, it would be fun to be able to make, a, like, multiple decks. Alright. Now let's try. That looks much better. Where were we? <laughs> He's a 2-2 two -two guardian. Ooh. That's interesting. I wonder if there's a way to get him as a card. Marvelous. Your first battle. Are you surprised to see me here? But you did select my starter deck. In order to play my cards, you will need to collect bones. You gain bones when... Why do your eyes glaze over? Hmm, marvelous. You already understand. My time as an insect was not a total waste. Oh, my dear, it was never a waste. Your time is never, ever a waste. Do not fear. Um, okay, we have no bones right now. But I could just do this. To get a bone. And then drop a, a draugr there. And that'll do. I'll sac a, a, sacrifice a single damage so that we can... Uh, we can get a defense out there. It also gives us a skeleton anyway. So it's worth it. Let's do you there. Bloodhound leaps over. And you there. All right, and that gives us two free damage. Skeleton collapses in a pile of bones. Skeleton collapses in a pile of bones. And our zombie died. So at least we can play whatever we want to. Um, uh, as soon as we get it, anyway. Grave Digger digs up a bone. Ow. Well, we took some, some damage there. It hurt, but there's not much I can do about that. Um... It's not really a great spot, but it's alright. At least we'll kill that, that, uh, what is it called, uh, Bone Hound next turn. Ah, there's ours. We got five right now on our own. Do not have enough for it. Oh, shoot. Well, that's a problem. Yeah, that's... Skeleton Collapse a Pile of Bones. Okay, well, we got a Draugr. We got seven, though, so let's get our Bone Hound out there. All right, jeez, that was close. <laughs> Skeleton was dealt overkill damage. Very good. We're just going to keep pummeling until we have another free card. <laughs> so we can get some bones. Or until we win, either or. <laughs> Well, that was lucky. <laughs> we got a free foil out of it, too. One foil. I'll take it. Sounds good. It is over. You chewed me out. Now, please, look away. Turn your eyes to this card pack instead. <laughs> it sounded like the sort of thing you would see on a, like an, a commercial or, or an ad. Oh, necromancer. When another creature you own dies, it's returned to life again and dies again immediately. Huh. Energy bot is played, provides an energy cell to its owner. Buff conduit, other creatures with, uh, within a circuit completed by buff conduit gate of power. And then we got another ghost ship. Ghost ship's really good. Cards are added to your collection. I am called Sawyer. The middle stone marks my grave. Please do not go digging up my bones. Found a piece of epitaph. So I already know that his is the middle grave. And he is the one eaten by a hungry dog. So that one's done. Um, I am called Sawyer. Yeah. Do not sniff or snarl. All right, so let's check out our deck now. And we're going to take out a few things. They got two grave diggers, one Frankenstein. We'll take out two skeletons and a zombie. So that we can put in another ghost ship and a necromancer. Um... I guess that's all I have, huh? Well, I do have a couple of these. Interesting. 
Hmm. Might be nice to have a flyer. Yeah, we'll grab a flyer too. That's about the best we can do right now. Oh wait, did I just, oh gosh, it's not even full. Why did I do that? <laughs> there, now it's full. All right, can I go through you? No, all right. <clears throat> Hark, a living slice of lemon approaches. Bright and trig as a lime. Ye think ye will squeeze at the fight out of me? He's a 3-3. Three, three. Sugar and spice. That's a tough, tough ask. Okay. We got Grave Digger at the gate and a Skelly Boy. Um, yeah, that sucks, but it is what it is. Um, yeah. We're going to have to hope that this ghost ship doesn't move before we can hit it. Because otherwise we're in trouble. Dang it! This thing is facing generates a skeleton. Well, there's our ghost ship, but it's not uh, really ready <laughs> yet. Let's so we get a skeleton there. Another skeleton. Would that work? No, oh, because he would move right away, wouldn't he? I guess. Um, and we'll use this one. The Grave Digger will go there. Yeah, that works. We get two damage. He does one back. And then we'll get an extra bone. Ghost ship emerges from the deep. Mm. Need five bones for that. I don't know if that's even going to work. We'll try. Just one damage. Grave Digger digs up a bone. Merges from the deep. Ow. <sighs> well, no, we'll hold off on that for now. Hmm. Digger digs up a bone. That's useful. Three... Four. We got four now, so we can put our own ghost ship up. Which helps a bit. Gravedigger digs up a bone. And we get a skeleton, which also gets us a bone. Ow. Gravedigger's gonna be dead in a second. Uh, okay. Ah, there's our necromancer that I wanted. Can't quite get it out yet, but that's alright. We'll do the... The Draugr for now. <clears throat> cool. Damn. All right. Ooh. I could do, drop another go, uh, grave digger just for fun. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> it is valuable because it gets us some free bones. have enough for that if we can get a spot for it. Hmm. We're slowly starting to do some damage, just not very much, sadly. So we got another bone, that's good. We got eight bones now, so we're in a pretty decent spot. We can kill something and then if I can get a minute <laughs> to do something here. <laughs> All right, let's kill this skeleton and drop seven bone, bone hound. And that'll do, I think. That should finish this person off pretty quick. extra foil. <laughs> I'll take it. Alright. 
Aye, ye beat the pulp out of me. Firstly, take ye this. Got a... So, got another necromancer. And we got an Atama... Atama uh, automation, which is a uh, 1-1 one, one for 3. And a muscle mage. At the end of the owner's turn, muscle mage will move in the direction inscribed on the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. So it's a... Uh, one one push. Not very good. And because ye bested me with ye, I share me secrets. Me name's Royal. It's the far right tomb here that hits pierce the head piece. Found a piece of epitaph. Royal Dominguez. Alright. Let's head up this way. Check this out. Found a piece of an epitaph casket. Hit by a falling piece of ice. Well, no, that's not royal. Uh, I found a card pack among the giblets. You received a deathly card pack. What do we got? Um, Stim mage, muscle mage, another ghost ship. Broken obal. When broken obal dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. That's pretty good. And headless horseman. Uh, it's a 5-5 five, five airborne flyer for 13 bones. Also, at the end of the owner's turn, Headless Horseman will move in the direct... Okay. That's really good. Yeah, I like that. I'm, I would like to add that to my deck, please. Uh, let's get rid of these zombies. I'm not a fan of the zombies. Uh, I would like another Necromancer. I would also like one less ghost ship and one Headless Horseman and the Oboe. Because that sucker is amazing. Five bones early. Feels good. And then up here, there's a piece of epitaph. Found a piece of epitaph that reads, There was no cure. And if we go into the mirror, it changes what we look like. See? <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> like, there's just so many different ones. Yeah, sure, we'll go, we'll go with that one. <laughs> um, we do have the royal headpiece, which is over here. Royal Dominguez. Um, there was no cure, I believe. Do I have the one for this one? I think I do. Um, hit by a fallen piece of ice. And that's all we have right now. Oops, oops. Okay, there we go. Let's see what you got to say. <clears throat> Burr, did someone leave the AC on? Oh, come on, dude. It's freezing in here. Maybe a heated battle will help. Hmm. So we're coming in with a 1-1 one, one flyer. Banshee will strike an opponent directly. Oh, okay, so just the flying ability explanation. And a draugr. Okay. Well, I have no bones on the field right now. So... Let's get... Skeleton out for one free damage to start. And then we're going to have to Grave Digger this, I think. We'll do Gravedigger here, because that way he's not going to be attacked by the Draugr. It's like a even trade. And we'll have to take a damage from this. At least for now. Good. Gravedigger immediately got us a bone. That's a help. Um, ah, there's a Draugr. So we'll slap him down here to absorb the Skeleton's attack. And we'll put our own Flyer on the field to match this one. Um... I think that's all I can do for this turn. Digger digs up a bone. Good. Okay. We got another skelly boy to throw up there. Which is good. That gives me another, what, four? Five bones. Excellent. So we can get our necromancer out early. Holy cow. That revenant was scary. <laughs> Alright, what is this one again? It's uh, when another creature you own dies, it's returned to life and dies immediately again after. Okay. Um, 
Hmm. Yeah, that'll do for now. Oof, that hurts though. Come on, give me something useful here. I could do double grave digger, I suppose. Mm, no, I think I'll wait for now. We're technically out. We're technically doing more damage than they're doing. Oh, or we were anyway. Oof. All right. Um. Damn. This really sucks. Okay, we'll Draugr. And then I, I'm going to have to sack the Draugr, I think. Or maybe not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sack the Draugr. Get a skeleton in there. Tag him with the skeleton. Skeleton collapses into bones. Necromancer raises the corpse from the dead, then lets it die once more. Digger digs up a bone. So now we have a bunch of bones, but we're also really low on health, and we might have just lost. So I gotta be careful here. We'll do oboe, then we sack oboe to get a ton of bones. Oh my gosh, Necromancer, uh, was it, uh, synergizes with oboe? I wonder if we put two necromancers up and we did that, if it would do the same thing. That would be amazing. Um, alright. Uh, we'll drop a skeleton. Collapse the pile of bones. That sucks, because he's going to come down and do three damage to us immediately. Ugh. <sighs> I hate that. Alright, um. Yeah. Let's get that damage out there, I guess. Three, no, two, three damage, yeah, three damage forward. And he comes back and dies again. We have 18 bones to play with. If we can get something that's really high cost. Um, I kind of wish I could move this unit over. Um, I guess I could do this. Sack him. And then we drop a necromancer there. And there we go. Getting lots of bones. <laughs> yep, there's a two two. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh yeah, that's a good chunk of damage right there. He you won, but but now I'm a bit less cold. Take a pack on the house. Ooh, broken oval. Four bones. We're gonna put another one in our deck. Uh, Necromancer, Blue Mage. When Blue Mage is played, you draw cards equal to the amount of Mox cards in your side of the board, and we got a Bolt Hound. When Posing Creature is placed opposite the empty space, Bolt Hound will move that spa empty space. Okay. These are good cards. You beat me, so I guess I've got to fess up. The name's Casey. Casey Hobbs. I'm from the tombstone on the left. You found a piece of Epitaph, Casey Hobbs, 1972. Winter 1992. Alright. Excuse me. Do, do, do. Pull up a piece of epitaph. Sweet. We have found a card in the well. Ink is running from moisture. Waterborne. Also, when drowned soul damages another creature, creature perishes. So it's a 1-1, one, one, um, that can't defend. That's pretty good. With death touch. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Do we have enough foils yet to buy something? You wish to trade? We have how much? Two? It's not really much, is it? Yeah, there's not much there I'd want anyway, honestly. Aside from the bone pile. Um, let's scroll down. Put our head down here real right quick. And we go through this to here. Yeah. Gimme. You picked a clover leaf from the ground, and there's this. We get a salmon, the waterborne. Okay. Why can't I? Take it. Okay, there we go. And then this. 
I'm still not sure what that's supposed to be for. Huh. All right, so now we go down here. Yeah, piece of epitaph. Found a piece of epitaph. It reads, brought down by scurvy. That would be royal, I would imagine. The whole pirate thing at sea. We got two out of three. I don't know why we don't have this one. Oh, we do. Where did I get that one? Oh, well. Oh, yeah, from the... the okay, yeah. The defibrillator failed. Marvelous! I believe you have proven your wits adequately. Are you prepared? You will not defeat me. I'm not prepared, actually. Uh, I would like to set my deck up a little bit more. Because if we remember, we did get... Yeah, we got the court, a drowned soul and another broken oval. Where is the other one? Uh, am I blind? Where is it? Uh, there it is. I want that, but I also want to get rid of... That insect drone was really useful. Um... I don't think we need as many grave diggers now, so we'll bring a drowned soul. We'll drop one skeleton from the. No, 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 no. Actually, bring that skeleton back. Drop a draugr, because I don't use the draugrs as much as skeletons. So that seems good. Nice even twenty. All right, Ooh, Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> Marvelous, just marvelous. I was beginning to worry I would be sealed away behind those tombstones forever. Locked down at the mercy of challenge, uh, challenger's wits until one day discovered. I see that your ambition is to become the scribe of the dead. I think you are aware that I currently hold that title. But it matters not because you shall not win. On God! <laughs> My minions never truly die, you know. Let's see how you fare. All right. This is um, hmm, not a great opener, honestly. But hmm, let's re-roll it. It's moderately better. I'm just gonna drop this here because I knew it was gonna leap over there. Yeah. Do a little damage and get the bone out of it. Now. And then, oh golly. Alright, um, that is a slight issue. We'll drop a grave digger. Over there. He'll block the flyer at least. Um, from coming down, I mean. And then we'll have to deal with that sarcophagus later, I guess. Don't like it, but it is what it is. Ow. Alright, we're gonna drop you. When he dies, we and he dies, we'll get two more, which puts us at three and enough to get him out. Okay. Skeleton, lobster to pile of bones. Dang it, it transformed. Shoot, I was afraid of that. We lost immediately. You wish to become the scribe of the dead, and that is your best deck? I have nothing to worry about. Well, you are partially right. We're gonna have to go do some fighting with a few other lower, uh, smaller, uh, uh, fiends and that. There's something up here, huh? We pried the chest open, I found a card pack inside. What you got for me? The adder. When adder damages another creature, that creature perishes. Yep. So we know those. Thick droid, a 1 3. And then a muscle mage. Nothing I really want, sadly. Hey, Leshy. What up? Stop shaking. The only thing you have to fear is your own inadequacy. Behold me. I am Leshy, the scribe of beasts. We share a desire for you to challenge me. But first... I know what you're thinking. No, this is not my legendary camera, not the one I use to create beast cards. This one is a mere replica. You may use it to create photos of the beasts in these woods. My subordinates, the prospector and the angler and the trapper, they each require a photo before they will consider battling you. Return to me when they are all defeated. I... 
Let's see. So we got us a 2-3 flyer, a 1-1 one, one flyer, and a 1-1 one, one flyer. Oops. Apparently I screwed that up. can't hit for enough there, can I? No. So I guess the best bet here would be to do... Actually, no, that's fine. Let me do this one. That will go through. Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to... T I keep hitting the X because I think that's where the thing is. The, uh, whatever it's called. Not that one. Uh, in there, I guess. Really? No. Okay. Alright. Let's see, if I do this, this should go through, right? Like... No. Really? Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Drawer creaked, then open. You found a pack inside. What do you got for me? <clears throat> a bloodhound, mantis god, cat, go another ghost ship, and a muscle mage. You're getting a lot of ghost ships. Oh, a second pack. Another ghost ship! <laughs> Explode bot. Explode bot dies. The creature opposing it, as well as the adjacent friendly creatures, are dealt 10 damage. That's disappointing. Hmm. Hello, little squeakies. <laughs> Mr. Squeaky son. Mr. Squeakies. <laughs> Hmm, so I can't get at any of the stuff in there, huh? That's disappointing. Uh, one, two, seven, one, two, three. We got a sticking pile of meat. Faint odor where that was. We go over here. There's a trapper lady. A pelt lady, whatever. Hmm. Nothing much that I care about here. You wish to trade? You don't perchance chance have any pelts. No, that's disappointing. But I accept foils. Rat ball. Oh, the Ouroboros! Oh, it's such a good one. I really want that one. Oh. Alright, let's head out. We do this. Take a picture of the dog for the prospector, because it's his dog. And then we fight the prospector. Yo, dude. Well, I'll be darned. That's my girl. Let me, uh, I'll let you pass me and y into yonder pond first. God, dear dang, dabby, we first, we got a battle. I can't English. 1-1 <laughs> one, one Guardian. All right. Okay, so we got two of those. Oh, if I could just get a, uh, if I could have just gotten a, what is it called, a... Uh, Brain, I need you to work. A uh, necromancer there. Oh, we could have gotten so many bones. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, that's pretty good. I can't quite get it this turn, but I'll take it. Um, that's the best I can do for now. Well, we'll wait to place that. Um, to... Yeah, it's not quite enough. Take two. That's what I was waiting for. Drop you. Ah, I still don't quite have enough. Oh, that sucks. Got three. Got a blocker, too. Alright. <laughs> cool. I'll get a bunch of bones out of that. Um, I could only get that necromancer down, too. That would be real nice. Oh, well. We'll get a bunch of bones for this, so I guess it's worth it. Okay, Necromancer. And we want to do... Got two left? Shoot. I have miscalculated. Oh well, it's okay. Ow, ow, ow. That sucks. Let's drop this one here. We're going to take a bunch more damage. <sighs> Which sucks, but it is what it is. Gosh. Still. 
four bones is pretty good because we can drop uh, this uh, drowned soul in too. But first, we need to absorb some bloody damage. Uh, gosh. I think this is our only choice, because uh, otherwise we die. As much as I hate it, and I do, because it wastes our necromancer. Oh, that sucks so bad. Yeah, I guess. Oof. Yeah, there wasn't much I could do about that. I'd let you by for the kindness you showed my hound, but rules are rules. Yeah, that sucked. We might need to review our deck and get a few other non-high-cost cards out there. I'll get rid of the Instinct Drone. We're keeping the Broken Ovals because they're valuable. They give us a ton of bones. Um... Get rid of the Frankenstein for now. And then we want to do another skeleton. And, uh... Yeah. Oh, we got a Banshee? Where did we get that? Oh, I'll take one of those. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. So, yeah, we got two Necromancers. Okay. We'll try that again. Hey. You found my hound, and I'm grateful and all, but dang damn it, we just got a battle. Alright, okay, this is a good opening hand. I, uh, I like this one. We'll go here and here. And that's the best I can do for now. Two damage at the gate, though, feels pretty good. Plus two bones, also feels pretty good. We'll get our bone digger there. And our grave digger, sorry, there. And we got one bone left on the side, which is nice. Okay. Three. If I could get him out, that would be a big help. That sucks. Well, we're gonna lose our grave digger, but it is what it is. So that gives us enough for the oboe. We put over there. Hound leaps over to it. Good. Uh, we'll wait on the skeleton for now. We want those bones, right? Alright, then then we drop a skeleton. Block the toad from coming down. Um, and we're just going to kind of slowly stockpile bones. Until we're in a position where we can... Ow. We can do better. Um, we got six. That's enough to insta-kill the damn hound. And drop a skeleton. Shoot. Oh well, whatever. At least we've got an instant killer, though, so that's good. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Draugr drops. Boop. Death touch, he dies instantly. Still taking a lot of damage that I don't appreciate, but it is what it is. <laughs> Drop the skelly man. I put that in the wrong spot. Whoops. Oh well, whatever. Die. <laughs> we get a bunch more bones out of it. No, 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 don't. Don't be over. Okay, good. <laughs> Stressful. Alright, we're gonna drop a grave digger and hope we can get another <clears throat> powerhouse card on our next turn for cheap. Or, you know what I mean, like, ah, okay, just a cheap card in general works. Okay, there we go, we evened the scales out again, finally. Alright. Ow, you're a jerk. <laughs> Drop a Draugr, works for me. Allows me to get a bit of damage back. Yeah, that's a good idea. Then we get three bones, right? Yeah, three bones out of that one. Haha. <laughs> uh, we got seven. Let's drop us a banshee and just in and end it. 
We got a foil out of it. Yay! <laughs> oh, okay, that was way harder than I thought it would be. Fair is fair, you beat me like a dog. Take this, some say these cards are better than gold. Okay, we got a Rayuli, another insect drum. We got a Warren. When the Warren is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is defined as a 0 1. And a uh, Bloodhound. And uh, Sapphire Mox. Can't be sacrificed. Well, Sapphire Mox is on the board. It provides a blue gem to its owner. All right, that's okay. The way to yonder pound is clear. All right, over here. Find a picture of what looks like a lady. Which is sad, but it is what it is. It's too bad you can't actually do anything with it. It'd be nice if you could like take it with you and it'd be important later or something but anyway get a picture of the baits you go over here you put it on the hook and this big honking thing comes up and bites it and you take its picture and then you go fight the angler with it because the angler's like ooh fish we have fish we fight now all right fish fresh fish good still must beach 2 2 Waterborne. Uh, you know what? This could work, actually. I'm gonna do this. Salmon's got a Waterborne and a move ability. So it's not ideal, but still, it'll work. And we can get our Grave Diggers out there, too. Sucks to take two damage right at the gate, but whatever. So we'll drop a. Let's see, he attacks and then moves to the right, so we'll drop Grave Digger there. Grim Digger digs up a bone. Salmon emerges. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, good. And we can drop a... Oh yeah, that works. A Draugr. We get a bone. Salmon kills Draugr. And we get a skeleton out of it. And another skeleton, which we can drop here. And a Grave Digger. Yep, that works. Grave Digger digs up a bone. Ugh. Didn't get to do the block that I wanted, but that's okay. Alright, so. Necromancers. Do I want to drop them? Probably want to get a Banshee out, actually. Mostly because... Oh, gosh. Because we want to do uh, some direct damage. Ugh, if we can. Hate that. Let's get a Necromancer there, and instead of putting that one, we'll put the Skeleton, because get some free damage in, and some free bones as well. There we go. Salmon. Uh, hate it, but at least we didn't die. Uh, oh gosh, I was afraid of that. <clears throat> okay, what am I going to do about this? Alright, drop you, and, yeah, I don't want to die, so it's the only way to do it, I think. Skeleton collapses, gets brought back, collapses, we get nine bones, that way we can play anything that we draw. Ugh, ten bones, oof, big oof. Draugr is not going to help me much here, because we're still going to take two damage. Oh no. I was afraid of that. Yep, that's game, I think. Oh no, we have one life left, or one health left. Oof, okay. I wish I had enough for that right now. That really sucks! <laughs> oh, that really sucks. That's game. Well, I tried. It was it was close, at least. Thank for fish, but no pass into the beach. Alright, we're gonna try this again. No pass into the beach. Whew, okay. Ah, okay, good. That's a good opener, actually. I like that. We'll do both those there. We'll take two back, but that's okay. 
We'll easily be able to, to kill off these uh, obols. Oh, and we got a... Yes, that's amazing. Okay. Don't have enough bones. Yeah, that's true. We're going to take a bunch of damage, but whatever. It is what it is. Okay, so... We're going to take a lot of damage because we can't get any of the low... Oh, no. That's not good. Ugh. Drop you there. Oh, man. I hate it. This is gonna suck. Ow, ow, ow. We are literally dead. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. It was so close. No passage or beat. I know we can do this. It's just... Fish good still. Must be. Like, like it's just a matter of getting the right hand set up. Uh, this can work, I think. Sure. Yeah, drop a skeleton. Drop you. Oh, yeah, I don't have... A... Damn, why'd I do that? Oh, well. Mistakes are made. Okay, that'll block one. And get us a free bone. Ow. Jerk. I really need that. <laughs> In one more turn, we'll be able to get it out. Come on. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. Um, yeah, sure, why not? And then... Won't matter anyway, because it would die uh, before it could block anyway, so... Oof. Damn, instantly lost. Oh my gosh. I am not good at this. No beats, no pass. It's always the angler. <laughs> Fish good, still must beat. I'm not giving up. <laughs> uh, we're gonna reroll this one. Yeah, this might work, I think. Okay, he's gonna move down to two damage. I guess. Do that. Sack him for the bone. Drop a grave digger to block the first attack. Then in between the first attack and the next, we'll get a bone to drop a draugr to block the second attack. But I think this will work. That's as far as I can go. <laughs> with it, but I'll take what I can get. I wish I could use that. Do a pile of bones. Merges. No, 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 no. Ow. Damn it. <laughs> that hurts. Alright. Let's drop an oval there to block that attack and a skeleton to do some damage. Get a bone out of it. Ow. Ow. Well, that would have been nice before, but I guess it's good. Uh, we'll do it there, and... Necromancer over there. We're gonna take some damage, but... We're gonna start getting a lot of bones thanks to the ghost ship and the Necromancer. why I keep thinking they can attack again. <laughs> it's just like throwing me off for some reason. Alright. We just did two back. It's better than nothing. We got a couple of free bones out of it. Ow. Damn it. That sucks. Well, it is what it is. There goes our necromancer. Sure, I guess. Maybe block some of the freaking damage that we're taking. <laughs> we're not block, but like, uh, deal back. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. This is not good. Alright, uh. Salmon, Kingfisher, Salmon. I can technically block, but. The thing is, it's not gonna be enough. We're still going to take two, three damage. It'll kill us this turn. 
Oh, I hate that. Wait, the skeleton was able to block? Oh, that was weird. Oh yeah, because he was spawned at the end of the turn. No beat, no base. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Let me see. Enough bashing my head against the wall. Let's see what I'm doing wrong. I still haven't seen Bonehound in forever. <laughs> um... Take away a Draugr, I guess, for now. And put in a second Necromancer, maybe? No, we have two Necromancers. <sighs> None of my creatures have blood, I don't think. Maybe. Um, what we could do, let's see. So we need something that can block flying. Maybe we'll grab a mole man, and we'll see if maybe that will make a difference. It sounds crazy, but it might work. No perish in Turtle Beach. I mean, who knows, right? This is a pretty good opener, I think. Uh, so what I do here, same as before, sack you. Drop you. I'll sacrifice doing one damage to not take a damage. Nope, not that. And I think that's the best I can do. Should be a net positive on the amounts of uh, bones we get. Yeah, we're at three. We can block with oboe next turn, which will give us some more. Um, can I sacrifice Gravedigger for a mole? That would be nice. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll drop Obo. Well, we'll wait, and we'll drop Obo on the next turn, more or less. Yeah. This will buy us a little bit of time, so I can get a Necromancer out and an Obo out at the same time. I think. There we go. Good. So if we do two damage flyer, or two bone flyer, no, no, I don't think there's any way we can pull that off. What we could do though, is this. So he'll attack, we'll take two, but we'll also get two bones, that is. Okay. Oh, okay, good. That's what I was hoping for, honestly. Killed. We do an oboe. We sack an oboe. Four. Comes back. Gets another four. There we go. Um, yeah, that's fine. If either of them die this way, we'll get... A bo uh, an extra bone out of it. And they'll both die, so... Alright. Okay. That's the best I can do, I guess. I hate that, but it is what it is. Ugh. Come on. I need a card. Ah, he's serious. Um, I guess I have no choice. I gotta do what I gotta do. All right. We almost got back to the middle. <laughs> I tried. Oof. <laughs> this is just brutal. No beat, no pass. Oh, God.
gosh. What do I gotta do? I'm able to take the bone hound out. And the ghost ship out. And we'll put in. Warren. And another Frankenstein. <laughs> okay, let's see. No pass until the beach. All right. We might be able to make this work. Um, I'm going to re-roll it, though. Ah, I did the wrong one. Oh, well, whatever. Too late now. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Two, need more. We're just gonna have to start waiting until we get enough bones. All right, ow. Okay. Stupid waterborne jerks. Uh, that's not going to do me any good. I need a block. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm getting my butt kicked. No beach, no pass. Holy moly, man. Um, turn to me when my subordinates are defeated. Okay. Go visit Grimora, I guess. That was unpleasant. If you wish to trade, if three. None of that would even really help me either. Damn, this is a tough one. All right, maybe we'll start from scratch on our deck, yeah? Yeah, let's start from scratch. Uh, junk the past uh, uh, deck, and we'll do a sack deck. So we'll do one. Uh, to do uh, one of those um, salmon and a couple of those and screw it we'll just put all of these in <laughs> might as well we don't have any squirrels though so that sucks uh, and then for these we'll just fill the rest with skeletons <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of throwing stuff at the wall and hoping it sticks. All right. Okay, let's try this again, angler. Fish good, still must be. I hate that I had to resort to that, but I don't. I don't know what else to do at this point. Skeleton, skeleton. Uh, can I sack skeletons? Oh, I can. Oh, that's pretty good. I can get a. 
had her out right away. That's pretty good. Ow, ow. I hate that. <laughs> Jerk. Do that so we can block some damage. Buy me a couple turns anyway. Ow. Jerk. Okay. Well, that gives us enough for two. A two blood summon, but uh, I think, yeah, this one's about to die. That doesn't really help me. Oh, golly. Can I sacrifice your... No, okay. <laughs> it's worth a shot. Alright. Well, that sucks. Yeah, I think I think this is a loss. Um, I think we're just gonna have to die here. Yeah, <laughs> I think I need to not just throw endless skeletons. No beat, no pass. Uh, endless skeletons in the deck if we want to win. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> uh, we'll do two skeletons and a necromancer and. A uh, grave digger and a oboe and a ghost ship and and a thick droid. Why not? We'll see if that works out a little better. Do, do. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, that'll do. Because we can be, like... Bam. That's not what I meant to do. I did it the wrong way. Whoops. Concede. <laughs> I did that stupidly. No beat, no pass. Let's try that again. This time, less stupid. <laughs> Uh, I can't afford to make dumb mistakes like that. All right, yeah, this can work. We'll drop a skeleton, and then we'll drop a Mantis God there. Three damage at the gate. Feels good. All right. It's unfortunately all I can do, but that's all right. Three damage is still good. Ow. Still not enough. Let's see, is that enough? Yeah! <laughs> Who knew it would just be a Mantis God thing? You beat, you pass. First, take. Yes, give me something good. Piece of card back. Finally, we got the Revenant. After attacking, Revenant perishes. That would have been nice to have, like, I don't know, a while ago. Hrakal, Waterborne. Also, when Hrakal is played, uh, it provides an energy cell to its owner. <sighs> you annoying jerk. Oh my gosh, that was actually awful. <laughs> Patches of dried blood crackled as you pried the chest open, but two packs were inside. Another revenant, wolf cub, and a sentry drone. Green Mage. The power of the Green Mage is equal to the number of green gems that the owner has on their side of the table. And the Hawk. Hawk will strike if a... Okay, so it's a 3-1 three, three flyer. And then a rare Euro Yuli. Euro Yuli. Oh, oops. Okay, let's see. There's nothing there. Anything up here now? No? How about over in this corner? Oh, yeah, apparently. Oh yeah, the woodcarver. Few players visit me here, and I sometimes ponder what my gameplay purpose was. Oh, it is clear now that you wish to know more. What can I tell you? I have glimpsed the old data, and I will speak nothing of it as a kindness. I will repeat myself, I will speak nothing of the old data. To know it is to die, but you players are never deterred by that. What can I tell you? It is corrupt knowledge, so evil that it corrupted this disc. Inscription, the good? No. What can you know? Ask the scribes. They don't seem to care for human life. 
leave me here to ponder my car and carve my wood. Bring Leshy's pup. Being Leshy's puppet has given me much to ponder. Goodbye for now. Okay. Anything in the trees? Hi. There we go, got him. Alright. Now, we move on. We gotta fight the trapper next, I believe. Which sucks. How that giant fish got into that pond. <laughs> like, how it's. like. how it survived for long enough to grow to that size. <sighs> hey. You have brought a pelt? I am pleased. Yet another turn of the skinning knife. It is time to set another trap. I smell the hare's blood on you. A 3 3. All right. Hmm. Yeah, let's reroll that. Yeah, this is much better. We'll do this one to drop the cat, and then this to drop. Yeah, I like that. And there. One, two, three, four. Skeleton collapses in a pile of bones, so we get a free bone out of it. Ow. That's fine. And one. Burrowing trap pops out to block. Oh gosh. Ow, ow. Dang. I was afraid of that. Well, that sucks, because we're just. Yep. There goes our chances. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't. Let's see. Got this. We'll slap you down there. Get a rabbit, block with a rabbit. That's three. Let's summon this with burrow and cat. And that goes there. And attack. Okay. Ow. Killed my rabbit. Jerk. There. Yeah, one, two, three. It wouldn't be enough to summon. Ow, ow, ow. Good enough. So then I could summon this by going one, two, three. Oh, I have to, s to kill all of them. Okay. Yeah, so be it. We'll yield four bones, and let's drop them right here. Oh, don't. Your Lori or whatever just died. <laughs> that sucked. Oh, well, that would have been nice to have before. Oh, well. Can't really get that out yet. I don't think anyway. Yeah, because otherwise we're going to die if we do. Ah, we still died. Oh well. I tried. Come closer. You'll make a fine pelt. Creep. I set the trap, but only pre the prey decides when it's snapped shut. Yeah, that'll work. There. We'll sack it for uh, nine lives. And this is gonna suck. Alright. They're gonna take some damage, but whatever. <sighs> Alright. There it is, jeez. 
so yeah, that's probably probably the wisest move. You're dead. Okay, ow. <laughs> get the trap out of there faster this way, I think. Yep. There. That should kill it, and then it'll kill the adder, but... Alright. Oh, gosh. Dang it! I thought for sure I had that, too. You're not cut out for trapping your better as prey. <laughs> gosh, dang it, man. Just loss after loss after loss. You smell like prey. Yeah, that's good. We can do this one. Um, that was not right. Oh, well. There. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that works. <laughs> Well, whatever, it sort of worked. Slap that down there. Drop the rabbits. Hmm. Almost have enough for that. How? <laughs> well, that sucks. Two damage hurts. Oh well. We'll take one damage, but hey. Wait, what was that targeting doohickey? That was weird. Okay, now we're starting to do a little better. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> You, and maybe you? Yeah. So we can do the... What? The damage. Ow. <laughs> it's alright, we're still gonna do some good damage here. Yeah. Yeah. Victory. Whew. Yeah, we made f enough for five foils, finally. <sighs> okay. The trap is shut, yet the prey escapes, and the trapper waits for the next victim. You've defeated the three of us now. Leshy awaits. We got Mummy Lord, Eight Bones, and Field Mice. Where Field Mice is played, a copy of it is created in your hand. And a rare rock call. Right to your collection. You wish to trade? What do you got? Uh, I got five. It's gonna cost me eight for Ouroboros. It's worth every penny. We need to save up for eight. <laughs> eight for it. Um, let's see here. Let's go visit. Hey. Woof. I was just about to call it quits out here. But now that there's a challenger in our midst, it's back to work for me. I should be able to get this bridge fixed, and we'll just grow through. It'll take me exactly as long as it takes for you to defeat one of the scribes. So, uh, come back later. Woof, it's hard to get back into the swing of things after a long break. Gotta gather that momentum. Look, you seem like a fine enough player, so I'll fill you in a bit. These scribes are crazy out here. Always at each other's necks, despite desperate struggle for power, you know? Just stay out of it. You don't want to end up like them. I agree with you. I don't. But what choice do I have? It's either that or stay here forever. And I can't do that. No. No, I can't. Alright. 
Let's try taking on Leshy then. Get our butts kicked, but whatever. Hey. You have bested the unhinged prospector, the gormless anger, angler, and the enigmatic trapper. Enigmatic trap. You found yourself standing before your ultimate match, Leshy, scribe of beasts. Steal yourself, for my beasts will show you no mercy, only fangs. Fair enough. Do not spare your creatures. My camera is waiting to capture them at the moment of their demise, and my beasts are famished. Look, there's holes in the table and stuff. Weird. Never noticed that. Um, yeah, this is a good opener. We'll do skeleton into cat, so that we can do ooh, cat into mantis. Yeah, that seems good. One, two, three. And his stoat will get one damage off, but I'm not too worried about that. Ow. <laughs> we'll drop a bullfrog right there. Just to kind of block the stoat. Actually, you know what? I should just uh, sack the bullfrog and the cat, one of the cat's lives, to get the uh, bloodhound out. That way it clears the board for a minute. Ow. I'll need a photo of that one's cost. Hey! Jerk! That was mine! What a jerk. Oh well. Now, phase two. You won't be needing those. I have something better. Hmm. We never did finish your death card. There wasn't enough death. I hope you don't mind me filling in the blanks. It's a one-one for one. It's kind of garbage. Oh well. I'll take it, I guess, because it's essentially free. Yep, that'll do. Ow! Hate that! <laughs> no, that's fine. We'll, we'll leave that one. Yeah, that works. Okay, death touch kills the mole man. Ow, you're a jerk. We'll drop a thick droid down. <laughs> Do a little extra damage there. Why not? Ow, I hate you. Uh, <laughs> uh, may as well just drop a grave digger. He's got some health. The great scribe was incredibly bested. Far away, a light enveloped a long-forgotten monument. Alright, we've defeated Leshy, finally. Avenging Druid. You have triumphed, narrowly avoiding Tooth and Claw, the Scribe of Beasts, was defeated. That you were able to defeat me beggars belief, but now I must yield to you. My only regret is that our battle was so brief. Surely the summit of victory is made sweeter by a more an arduous ascent. I mean, yeah, but it is what it is, man. We can fight any time now. Steambot is a uh, six energy to do. Not very good. And... Ooh. Squirrel ball. At the end of the owner's turn, Squirrel Ball will move in the direction inscribed on the sigil and drop a squirrel in their old space. We got a grizzly. That grizzly looks weird. And a Hover Mage. Hover Mage will strike an opponent directly, even if there is a creature opposing it. And a rare Mole Man. Very nice. Very, very nice. Stop! What is it? What is that? I don't know. I had to see your face after you lost. You're just so... bad. <laughs> it's no wonder we're back here again. And we would have been, been even sooner if the disc wasn't lost. Take a long look at this face, because you'll never see it again. And I'm done being your pet, you stinking beast. Little monkey boo. 
pushed it too far that last time. Why don't they see? To live as a beast would be the noblest thing. Even so lowly a creature as a stoat. I get it, dude. I get it. Scribe of Beasts was defeated. That he was. Let's go kill Gramoran. Or Gamora there. In a second. Ooh. This is open now, huh? Sweet. Something important is coming up. Which I desperately need. I'm gonna take this. A monocle. As uh, greetings, if you are reading this, it must be because you wish to challenge Magnificent to a card battle. But in order to earn the privilege, you must first defeat my three graduate students. As for their whereabouts, that is for you to discover. Sincerely, Magnificent. Hey, Magna Boy! Um, I think I saw a skull. Oh, oops. Birdie thing, and what was it? Skull? Oh, skull birdie thing skull. Hey. Oh, the pain is unbearable. M my organs are melting. Do you see Magnificent turn me into uh, goo for my final exam? I just need to defeat one more challenger then. I will earn my rightful place. My rightful place in the thick of the master has one of his prized cards. Oh, nothing will stop me. Poor guy, I feel so bad for him. Hi. Uh, this isn't a great start. Reroll. That's not really a great start either, honestly. Oof. Alright. Might just let this guy kill me because it's kind of being a pain. Yeah. Ugh. Yes, it was all worth it. Please report my victory to the master quickly, if possible. What? What are you doing? I passed my final exam. We're, we're done. Please, please not again. Oh, poor guy. Yeah, that, uh, that's good. We'll do that. Uh, this one, and I'm gonna need it there. Keep it safe. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, it works. There's three damage at the gate. Feels good. We're about to take three. That's okay. Uh, yeah. One, two, three. And can't do that yet. One, two, three. A little extra damage. Ow. <laughs> so annoying. I think we're gonna get this one. Uh, nope. We're keeping Mance got it there because he's too useful to take out of there yet. Okay, here we go. Now we can summon something. Um, probably just Mole Man. Uh, yeah. Mole Man. May as well. There you go, buddy. Two, three. One more hit and we win. Yeah, we win. One, two, three. Two damage over. Bam, foils gained. Two. Almost have enough for Ouroboros. No, please, please, just tell the master I passed. You won't know the difference. Here, take this back. <coughs> Sorry, doing that voice kills my voice box. Match it with back. Junior Sage, one, two. Oro's Mox. Uh, while Oro's Mox is on the board, it provides an orange gem to its owner. Also, while Oro's Mox is on the board, it provides a blue gem. Okay. And Ruby Golem. When Ruby Golem perishes, or Ruby, Mo Ruby Mox is created in its place. Ooh, Pharaoh's Pet. Uh, Pharaoh's Pet is counted as three blood rather than one blood when sacrificed. Also, when Pharaoh's Pet is sacrificed, it does not perish. That's pretty cool. We got a... Draugr, too. Here, I can open the door for you. Oh. Mm -hmm. I think there's something up here, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Some dude's, like, license? Something of defense? Minister? Or Department of Defense? Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. Bo -do -bo -do. Whoop. 
Whoops, I didn't mean to go back down. Ay vey, every time. I'm so dumb. Alright, let's open this. You find a card pack among the heaps of stuff. And we got Mage People. If Mage People's owner controls no Mox cards, Mage People perishes. It's the same thing for this one. Gem Fiend. Gem Fiend owner controls no Mox cards, Gem Fiend perishes. And Master Orlu. Uh, airborne also. And Master Orlu deals damage directly. Directly draw a card for each damage dealt. And another Pharaoh's Pets. That's cool. I like those Pharaoh's Pets. I kind of want to add them to my deck. I'm not going to lie. Kind of sounds like it would be fun. Um, it's not under this, right? Pharaoh's Pets? Right? No, okay. I think it's an undead thing. Yeah, there's. I want to add one. I think we'll still be able to use it. Um, hmm. Hey, Ro. The dummy stares lifelessly back at you, then suddenly springs into motion! Zero two. Okay. Sure. There, and then we got what? Yeah, it's the best move I can do, I think, probably. Right there for. Not right there, because I can get two damage out of it. Ah, uh, yeah, that works. One, two. One, two. One, two. <laughs> Very good. I got eight foils. That's enough for me, Ouroboros, I think. The dummy hinges creak back into position and it returns to its lifeless state. Alright, let's go back and go buy Ouroboros from the trader at Leshy's. Because I think it was eight that I needed. I definitely want that card back. It's like the best card in the game, in my opinion. You wish to trade? Yeah, I want my Ouroboros. <laughs> Yay, I don't care about the rest of this. Go away. <laughs> Alright, that changes everything now. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll do Ouroboros and we'll remove... I don't know, what do I want to remove? A Bullfrog and a Warren and a Bloodhound. And I'll get a... Uh, what else? Do I want to get a Field Mouse? Yeah, why not? Field mess. It'll be fun, right? <clears throat> right. All right. Now, in case you were wondering, that target dummy looking thing, that is actually a, a way to grind for foils. You can, uh, you can fight it over and over and over and over. <laughs> Endlessly. And you can just keep working it on your, uh, your deck via it, so. We'll play a few more of these. Let's see. Yeah, I don't want this one. Um, that's not terrible. I'll take that. I'll drop you. It's one damage. Skeleton collapses into a pile of bones. We drop a grave digger there. She'll give us bones passively. Um, and that's our first sign. Um, and yeah, that's good enough. We'll just keep. Digging bones up. Mm -hmm. And let's see. We also have Ouroboros now, finally. So that is definitely worth sacking both of those for. Uh, that's a nine damage creature. And then we can also do... Do I want to do any extra damage? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. It's true. Uh, uh, yeah, whatever. No, no. No, we'll just finish him with Ouroboros. Four extra foils. <laughs> you see how this uh, is a little bit broken. <laughs> this cannot be uh, intended. 
but whatever. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. Sure, why not? Uh -huh. Boop. Boop. And we'll get a bunch of free bones. Ah, there's our Ouroboros. Alright, so that's... I'm gonna do three. Uh, if I do one more turn, I can get uh, a nice little chain reaction here. So we'll do... You there. You there. Then we... Sack the two of these. And we drop an Ouroboros there. And then... Sack... Both of you. <laughs> this is gonna seem weird, I know. Drop you there. And sack you. To drop you. And we drop Ouroboros again. <laughs> Only this time, he's a 10 10. <laughs> and get that many more foils. <laughs> ah, 10 foils. Lovely. And the great thing about it is, Ouroboros will literally stay a 10 10. Like if we draw him this turn, that is. Uh, we can. Drop a Mantis God in the time. If push comes to shove, we'll just kill him off with the Mantis God. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. All right. One extra foil isn't bad. I mean, it's the best way to make foils, so I may as well exploit the heck out of it. Here, roll. That's a boring hand. Ah, here we go. Um, I'm gonna wait until I can get a better creature. Yeah, that'll do. Excellent. Do, 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 do. Seven more foils. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Let's go again. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, that's not really worth it. Uh, that's a good one. One, two. Again, four damage. Yeah, it looks like we're just getting the bare minimum this time, sadly. Oh, we're well, one anyway, whatever. That's eh, not really good enough. I want something fun. Yeah, that's good. I said something fun. Guild mice. And we get one in our hand for that. Two damage out. Two damage out. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Two damage out. <laughs> Alright, so much for that. Alright. <laughs> Dang it! I want my aura bars. <laughs> um, seem to get like some of these cards way more than others, which is kind of frustrating. I don't think I need the two adders for now. That's probably fine. And we'll do uh, instead. We'll do <clears throat> we'll do this one. Scroll ball because getting the extra sac sacrifices could be nice. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, 
I can make that work. There's me Ouroboros. I'm gonna wait on that for a second. Yeah, that works. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Eleven damage. And a button of foils gained. <clears throat> One more go through. Uh, that's kind of garbo start. Let's try again. That's a good start, actually. And win. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six foils. Let's go buy some card packs, what do you say? <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's nuke this, and we're going to re-add stuff. And we're going to start from the beginning here. Let's go to... We want cat. We want that. We want that. Uh, we definitely want both Mantis Gods. They're really good. The adders are nice. Uh, we definitely want skeletons. One, two, three, four. Uh, having some flyers would be nice too. Grab that and that. Um, and that. And we want the oboes as well. Um, one of those. And Thickbot has been very helpful for us. Uh, we'll also do sentry. How many sentries did I have? Jeez, I have more than one sentry? Okay. Uh, what else is cheap? Cheap, 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 cheap. If you're cheap, one of you. And... There. That should do. That gives us a bunch of cards, too. Alright, that works. There, and then we sack that for Bullfroggy Boy. And drop a sentry, why not? <laughs> it's essentially just a glorified sacrifice anyway. Um, yeah, I think I'd rather have a Mantis God in there. <laughs> Alright, sure, why not? There's one. Try it one more time. <laughs> this time hopefully getting something more interesting. Yeah, that's not interesting. That I can do. I can I can make something with that, I think. And we we'll drop the adder there for fun. Buy time, I guess. the cat that I was looking for. Two, three, damn it. <sighs> Let's go buy some cards. <laughs> Should be a trader over here, I think. What do you got? Don't care about any of that. That's all garbage. No. I hate all of it. <laughs> Let's go visit the Necromancer Crypt area, because that has some interesting stuff to purchase. Doop -doo, and we'll beat Grimora while we're here. <laughs> what up? You wish to trade? I want this, because it looked cool. Uh, and then we'll buy some card packs. Ooh, 
Ooh, another revenant. And then we got sarcophagus. That's pretty good. Another headless horseman and a broken old. Oh, this one has, uh, the frick's it called? The uh, thorns. That's pretty cool. Um, one more. Another headless horseman and factory conduit? Empty spaces within a circuit completed by factory conduit spawn elite bots at the end of the owner's turn. Weird. And then we got sarcophagus. Okay, I got some stuff already I can put in the deck. For example, um, let's drop a second oval, but one that has spikes. Yeah. And then a sarcophagus, and uh, I'll drop a additional circuit. Oh, maybe that's too much. That might be too much. Let's go back up. Uh, instead of the squirrel ball, since I'm just not even getting it anyway, we'll drop a revenant. That works for me. That should be enough cards, too, I believe. Yeah, more than enough, actually. Alright, let's see how we do against Gamora. <clears throat> Another attempt. Very well, I am still buzzing from the last one. I'm gone! <laughs> Minions, prepare for death. But then, life again. <laughs> Is this a good opener? The skeleton, the frogs. Yeah, that's not bad. The skeleton, go to frog, and we drop a turret. Yeah, that works. Which uh, you automatically gets some damage in. I like that. Skelly boy, we drop you there. And get some free damage in. Ow. That sucks. Ooh, this'll be good. And then, yeah. I guess transcends to a higher form. Oof. Cobalt digs in. Hehehe. <laughs> Marvelous, an opportunity to use my quill. Rest in peace, Bonehound. Turn one to turn three. This one will be back. Out. Oh, that would have been nice. Oh well. Um, this might be where we lose. Yep. Well, I tried. <laughs> My undying creatures can be difficult to overcome. Perhaps you'll need to open more packs and improve your deck. I mean, you're not wrong, Gamora. <laughs> we do need to do that. That means we gotta visit our training dummy buddy. The dummy stares lifelessly back at you and suddenly springs to life. Oh, this is a good opener, yeah. Da -da -da. Cats. Yeah, and then that's all I can. No, I can do this, and then I can do that. Cool. Boom! Oh, 11 damage. <laughs> cool. I'll take it. <laughs> Fortunately, we're gonna have to start powering up Ouroboros soon because he's not gonna be super useful if he's 11-11 to where he could be, where he could be, where if he was a lot higher than that. So let's do this. And we'll just wait until we get Ouroboros. Or a grave digger, either or. Come on. That'll work better than the Mole Man. Where the heck is Ouroboros? Do I want to drop a skeleton right now? Not really. There you are. Okay. So. First things first. Get you out. Then we sack both of you to get Ouroboros out. Then we sack Ouroboros to get Adder out. Then we sack Adder to get Ouroboros out. Then we sack 
or Boris to get Mantis God out, then we sack Mantis God to get Ouroboros out, then we sack or Ouroboros to get Mantis God out. <laughs> And then uh, Ouroboros goes out. And that gives us a 1414. <laughs> and we have nine bones to play with. Um, oh, I should have had a Necromancer out there, and I would have been able to. Ah, oh, I'm stupid. Alright, uh. I think the only other thing we could do, maybe. Uh, Necromancer and do some extra damage with that, maybe. Anything else? Flyer? Yeah. <laughs> Eleven extra foils in one battle. That's what I'm talking about, baby. See, that's what we need to be doing. That every turn or every time we go through. Alright, let's try that again. And then this will probably be the last one I do in this episode. Um, let's see. We want Skelly Boy? Mantis God. And just Skelly Boy, why not? Do damage per turn. There we go. That's what I wanted. Alright, give me Ouroboros. Come on. There you are, beautiful. All right. <laughs> got eight bones. Who could we put out the sack? Oh, we got uh, this fella. Um, this fella. Actually, should I just do damage on this turn? Probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 48 foils! Alright, folks, I think this is a good spot to end this episode. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. And if you liked it, click that like button. If you really liked it, remember to subscribe. It's the best way to find out when I stream next, or stream or record next. And as always, folks, thank you so much for joining me, and take care.